Dragon Ball. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, today we're going over the new class, Dragon Slayer General, that was just added to Adventure Quest Worlds yesterday. I've been using class quite a bit, I got to rank 10, let me show that real quick, so it's at rank 10, at rank 10 the uh, passive ability is 20% more damage to everything, so pretty good passive on the rank 10, actually it might be 30, uh, let me check real quick. It is in between 20 and 30, it's 25% extra damage at rank 10, so I had to get the rank 10 passive in order to review the class, and I've got it, so let's go over a few of the things that make this class, what it is, and whether or not you should purchase it. Alright, first off, let's go over how to get the class. Um, you can, of course, buy for 2,000 adventure coins. It is at slash join dragon town where you get the class, or uh, if you don't want to spend your dragon coins, all players, including non-members, can get their Dragon Slayer class that you get at slash join lair after finishing the quest at lair. Uh, slash join. Here, I'll type it in right there for you. Loud keyboard is loud. Like that. Slash join lair. You go there, you can get Dragon Slayer, you get that to rank 10, and then you finish a few quests here. Uh, all the quests will be here. You just do these quests, and that will give you the items for the merge. I don't know if it's in the war merge or in the normal. No, it's not war merge. It is in uh, the class shop right here. It's currently disabled because uh, people that were getting the merge items weren't. It wouldn't let them turn it in to get the class. But it will be available sometime after this video is uploaded. So maybe right after this video is uploaded, you it won't be, you won't be able to get it for merge. But it is confirmed a merge item, and they should add that back in the game once they sort it out but you can also buy for 2k ACs in the shop i'm pretty sure it's not in the class shop so you have to come to dragon town to get it there all right let's move on to the skills and what this class is good at and what it's for all right normally at this time in the video i would go over the skills and all that stuff but uh, the skills are insanely boring there is a heal the heal never works it's unreliable you cannot rely on the heal at all so this class has no survivability at all it's actually one of the worst classes for survivability i've ever used and, oh, you thought I was going to battle pirates? Psych! If you thought that I was actually going to use this on normal mobs, yeah, straight silly, dude. Because this is not a class that will go uh, up against normal mobs. If you try farming with it, rip. If you try boss fighting with it, rip. Uh, if you go anywhere without a healer beside yourself, you're going to be rip. Um, this class really sucks with survivability. It's not very good at damage dealing either. Um, the only thing I could ever think that this class would be good at is destroying dragons. Um, Ardix has confirmed it's receiving a buff come Monday, I think. Uh, so if the buff is that much better for the class, uh, I might update you on it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell this class. Actually, I know I'm going to sell the class because it's really not worth having in my inventory or wasting that many ACs on it. So I am going to waste 200 for this video just to show you guys not to buy it. So as you can see... Um, this class, I don't know if you know the name of this class or what it's called, but uh, the class is called Dragon Slayer. Um, uh, the name would suggest it could slay dragons, uh, um, unless I'm wrong about that, right? Uh, Dragon Slayer class? As you can see, I'm not having the best of time slaying this dragon. I am 15 levels higher than this dragon. Actually, no, I'm, I'm 20 levels. I can't math properly, but I do know that this class is not very good at this. Um, it's tw I'm 20 levels higher than this dragon, okay? 20 levels, you know, it's not, not nothing. And I'm killing him very slowly. I'm 1k damage. I'm doing about the same amount of damage I would do to a normal um, monster of the same level, like a skeleton. So a I, I skeleton I do about 10% less damage to, uh, which is barely anything. So, I do about the same damage to normal mobs as I do to dragons. You, you have no increased damage to dragons from what I can see. Maybe a slight percentage to increase damage, but nothing huge. Um, it's not very good at killing dragons, to be honest. The heal does help a little bit, but it's so inconsistent that if you're an actual, like, if you're actually fighting a dragon that's the same level as yourself, 
uh, you'd be hard pressed to win that fight by yourself. Um, like I said before, if you don't have support, you're going to struggle doing anything with this class. And yeah, this dragon did die, although it did take me a whole almost two minutes to kill him. So let's swap over to another class that is much more capable of handling this dragon. Alright, here is the same boss fight with Stonecrusher class. One of the best classes in the game currently. Very strong class. Very good at doing what it does. And on a consistent basis, I'm not dealing as much damage, but over time, if you add up these numbers, it's about the same, actually. Um, but this class is good at doing everything, not just dragon killing. Um, I mean, it can't do dragon killing, and of course, it's good at it. Just as good as Dragon Slayer, if not better, because I could survive longer with this class with the heal and also support teammates if I was in a team fight, which... Um, a lot of the time you will be with other players and not just by yourself when you're farming mobs and such. Uh, the only situation where I could see Dragon Slayer general class being worth using. Sorry about all these key presses. I know they're loud and annoying. Uh, the only situation where I could see the Dragon Slayer class being worth it uh, to own is if you farm for Dragon Slayer class, do not spend your ACs on Dragon Slayer class. It's definitely not worth your ACs. Uh, never spend your ACs on a class you can farm. And only spend your ACs if it's an AC only class that's going to go rare. Um, that's the only situation where I would see you spending your ACs as, on a class as a viable purchase in Adventure Quest. Otherwise, just spend your ACs on rare items or bank space and other stuff like that. Backpack space and the like of that. Um, as you can see, Stonecrash is doing good work. But the only situation where, I've said this three times now, Dragon Slayer would be a good class is farming the Legion tokens where you gotta kill the dragons to farm Legion tokens. Uh, if you have that pet, the Legion token pet, that one pet, that's probably the only situation where it'd be good. And probably using Blazebinder is still a better option there, honestly. Uh, if you're doing multiple uh, dragons at once uh, with a group, it's probably better to use Blazebinder. And yeah, so that's my review on this class. That's my uh, opinion on the class. If you were gonna ask me, Hey Corey, uh, should I get this class? Uh, it's a straight up no. If you want to farm for it just to have it, I would farm for it. Um, you can merge, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can go merge it at uh, the Dragon War place at the start of the video or in your interaction menu right up there. So you can go farm for it if you want to farm for it. I would recommend not wasting your time if you don't want it. Um, it's kind of okay at killing dragons. Stone Crusher is about the same. Uh, Stone Crusher may be a little bit better, a little bit worse, you know would take a little bit but they're pretty pretty much the same and i always spend your time going after a class like blaze binder stone crusher uh shaman any of those classes if you want an actually good class to use thanks for watching the video guys if you enjoyed it leave a like comment down below whether or not you got this class and what your thoughts on it are and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace it's been a long time since I did a video without um, a webcam, and it's kind of nice. Uh, I might do more of these in the future. Uh, it just feel, feels like you're more focused on the gameplay uh, and stuff like that when I don't have a webcam on. I'm, this is, I'm recording this after editing the video, of course. I'm going to add this in at the end. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed that little Skyrim Fusor Dot thing I did. Hopefully I edited that in properly. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is what I do at the end of every class video where the class sucks ass. Okay, um, a lot of outro outros. So let's go to a shop. Let's go to sell your items. And let's find the new Dragon Slayer class. Not that one, that one's... Oh, oh, 1800 ACs. This video only cost me 200 adventure coins. Leave a like if you, if you appreciate the fact that I wasted some adventure coins on this video. Boom. Goodbye, Dragon Slayer, you piece of trash class. Bye-bye. My AC's back, and that's a good video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I've probably said that like four times now. Bye-bye. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.